folks, Bert here, and we are done, almost, with Reaper's Hellfire Shotgun. I feel, I feel the need to kill. Uh, fight it, Bert, fight it! Uh, uh, we've imbued it with carbon fiber in true Reaper fashion to make it ultimately badass and really just... Uh, 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 I feel like I'm trying to take a shit, actually. That's probably not the greatest thing to uh, uh, do. Anyway, enough screwing around aside. This thing is awesome. I'm a big shotgun junkie. I love shotguns. I always have. I just love the amount of stopping power that they will ha that they have, and they're just great for an all-around uh, demolishing tool. I mean, you know, if you want to do some home decoration... You know, remove your neighbor's trees, bushes, problematic plants, birds. They're great. They're really great for removing, you know, like you got a bird outside the tree that's really bothering you. You just, boom, and it, it, it's gone. It, it's it's in, it's in 10 different, you know, zip codes by that point, and you don't have to worry about it ever bothering you again. That's why I love shotguns, partly at least. But this thing, oh, and over under, which is what they call over under, and generally we use them for trap guns, but that's other technical crap. A pistol grip over under shotgun and I mean this thing just you just want to go boom and then boom and boom oh god you just want to blast the shit out of everything I mean that's almost like Terminator kind of crap right there but we got it wrapped in carbon fiber and this stuff is a real pain in the ass to work with I will be very honest there uh, this paint's been on you for almost a day and it still hasn't dried uh, not exactly sure why. I'll have to deal with that. That's not normal. But we've got a lot of good detail up here. The carbon fiber looks absolutely amazing. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn on this extra light just to be on the safe side. And it looks really, really nice. I like this gun. I like this gun a lot. And I think I'm going to have to start doing, for some of these, um, like a custom glass box. And I can just hang them like, you know, man cave or like at your front door. And you just, you just hang it there. Hang it like this. Then you put some shotgun rounds next to it. And you put in a little sign at the bottom that says like, in case of emergency, break glass. And it, you can just put it like in your man cave or something. I think that would be really cool. My wife would probably think I'm a total dork, but I don't give a crap. This thing nonetheless, I I wish this was real more than any other gun I have up here. I, I, I really wish this was real just because... This kind of a gun really doesn't exist. That being said, you'd probably break your goddamn hand trying to shoot this, but, you know, real-world physics need not apply when you are a death-dealing, ghostly figure from a video game. Anyway, this printed in just under 39 hours at 520 grams. I printed it in a total of five parts with 10% infill at 200 microns. So really, it's not a bad print. Uh, the original print came from Kirby Donnelly from My Mini Factory. What I did then is I took all the individual pieces and I put them in mesh mixer and then I put them all back together and then I made it a solid piece and then I sliced it like we usually do. That way so I had almost zero uh, support material which saves a lot of time and it saves a lot of material which helps keep our, keeps our build time down and it helps keep our costs low. So our waste per, waste average or our waste for support material on this was less than one percent, which is really really good. And I can tell you with some of the other models, our waste was upwards of twenty percent of the actual weight and time, and that that takes a lot. So that's really cool that we can cut down our, our build time and build cost for each one of these things. Um, God, I just love the way that looks. Don't you just love the way that looks? Ah. Oh. I will definitely give you guys a updated video of this once it is fully completed and you can see it all in its just immaculate glory. Uh, I need to figure out what's going on with this paint down here. That's really not normal. But anyway, on to our comment question for today. And it comes from Peter Johnson and it says, Nice work, man. I love the hard light in the game. Have you ever taken one of your prints to the nth level of detail? Like with the hard light, the globe of liquid, working trigger, electronics, and the like. I think it would make a great miniseries. Thank you, Pete. That's awesome. I didn't actually even think of that. We have done models in the past where we've gone just absolutely bonkers with any kind of bell and whistle we could. Unfortunately, those are very few and they're very far between because they, they cost a lot of money to make. They really do. I mean, something like this, 
if I was to make this every bell and whistle I could, this would probably cost me 60 times as much as this cost to make. This would cost me upwards of four or five hundred dollars to make if I made it as close to the real thing as possible. And that's just not, we just don't have the budget for that. We've gone with some of these guns and we've made a lot of really good detail. Like when I did the DMR, the Halo 5 DMR, obviously you can't add, you know, a scope, but it does have a real Picatinny rail on top and bottom and then on the side. So you can add real attachments to it. I've got, you know, one of my, my UTG, it's got a laser and, uh, you know, the, the light. You can add this to a lot of cool stuff and make it a lot more authentic. But you do want to be careful because you are technically 3D printing this stuff. And if you add certain things to it, you can, let's just say you're, you're playing with, you're playing with fire, you know, if you just ask me. Um, you know, and then you're getting kind of into the realm of airsoft, but just be careful if you're 3D printing stuff and you want to make it look really cool and really real, don't get yourself in trouble. But back to topic, yes, we do add stuff. Now the Radio Shack's not around anymore. I can't just go down the road and get the electronics and crap like that to fix it and, you know, make stuff really cool. I have to order online or I have to kind of tear apart other stuff and it just takes a long time. But I will definitely look into making maybe smaller, cooler little things making like mad details and really cool and just totally out of the, off the wall, we'll have to look into doing that. So thank you, Pete. I really appreciate that. I hope you don't mind me calling you Pete, even though it says Peter. <clears throat> anyway, Peter Johns, Peter Johnson. Oh, Jesus. Ah! I'm sorry. Maybe I'm seeing more into that name than that's actually there. If there is, if I am, I apologize. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, my wife is calling for me because it is finals time, and she needs my help for studying for some psychology test that she's taking. Thank God I didn't have that crap in college. Anyway, I had ethics and business law classes and engineering. But that being aside, I am still Bert. This is Pixel Armory. We're going to keep 3D printing awesome shit, and we're going to keep blowing stuff up. And that reminds me, we're actually doing another live-action video shoot here coming up. We did on a couple of months ago, and we didn't really know what we were doing. We didn't have a very, you know, good idea of how to do it. And the video just really wasn't usable, so we scrapped the whole project. This time we've got something very different, very emotionally powerful for Destiny. So if you're a Destiny fan and you've read the Grimoire cards and you like the lore, and you may know where I'm going on this, but I'm not going to go any further, you're going to get a glimpse at what a lot of people think the truth is with the Traveler. So... I'm not going to go into even further detail, but I really hope you guys will enjoy it when we get it finished. It's going to be a little while. Right now it is pouring outside. It's going to keep raining for like the next six days. So shooting is going to be a little hard, but we are definitely going to put all of our hard work into it. We've learned so much over the last several months with everything, and we just hope you guys continue to support us and love all the stuff that we do. Well, guys, I got to go because she needs help studying. So as always, I am Bert. I am from Pixel Armory, and like, favorite, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Actually, that's probably not very nice. I'll see you guys later.